Hey, this is Manly with verticallessons.com. In this video, I'm going to respond to a question I got from a past audience member. And it was specifically about vertical lesson uh, that I typically share in signature, my signature keynote and in my book. I've also blogged about it a lot, so I won't go into detail about it, but it's the current climb. And there's a link in the show notes or down below here so that you can watch or read more about that if you need more details. The quick, super fast version of this is the concept uh, vertical lesson that I stumbled upon in frustration and in chaos of my day-to-day -day life uh, that I realized that in climbing mountains and going on a trip or even just a, a, a basic rock climb in the United States, I can't climb more than one at a time and I have to pick one and, and that very fact has and, and one of the reasons I believe that climbing is much easier than what you're dealing with in your day-to-day -day life because you're facing multiple mountains and this was the specific question the gal said I'm I'm so frustrated I'm stressed out uh, because I'm trying to focus on my current climb but then I have all these other mountains and, and things coming at me pulling me in different directions and so the one thing I want to make very clear, the first of four points I want to give you that I think will help you with uh, the chaos that you're inherently dealing with and building momentum within that and how to leverage the current climb. And the, really the mindset that surrounds the current climb is one of momentum. And what I mean by that is I want you to embrace, and one thing I've been saying lately in my keynotes is that it's a declaration of momentum to say this is the one initiative I'm going to focus on and make sure that I move forward every single day. That does not mean you can ignore everything else that's going on. Uh, what, what it just it means that you're putting the stake in the ground saying, I know this is important, uh, regardless of whether it's team facing or just internal, just for you or some major project, you're committing to the momentum of moving that one item forward no matter what. And then you can get to all the other things that you're dealing with and trying to juggle. So think of it as a declaration of momentum. And, and then um, the second tip I want to give you that directly relates to that is knowing that you have multiple things coming at you out, uh, you know, inputs and people uh, demands and chaos and personal life and professional life and all that you're trying to juggle, know that you're going to get knocked off your tr off your path and that momentum is going to stall out for holidays and for just crazy days that happen, right? And Mondays and all the other stuff that comes at us. So the, the second thing I want to remind you to do is revisit, if you haven't read the chapter lately or seen uh, my blog post, I'll put a link on this one as well, Master the Art of the Restart. And this the super fast version of that, that is also a mindset to say, hey, when, when I've fallen off track on whatever it is you're trying to do on a regular basis, I'm going to get back on it immediately. As soon as the sun comes up, I'm going to restart tomorrow. And that is a really key tactical piece uh, to building that momentum to drive the current climb forward and other uh, habits and, and initiatives that you're trying to do on a regular, consistent basis. So that's the second point I think that will really help. And three, uh, this one gets into not quite as tactical, but it, and it's harder to really implement, but it's to try to embrace uh, the concept of surrendering. And what I mean by that is surrendering specifically to the idea that you can just focus on one thing and you, you can shut out the world. And sometimes we have those moments when, uh, when of clarity and focus when, when somehow the, light, the world stops and we can really crush something forward and move forward. But most of the time, that's not going to happen. Most of the time, you're going to get pulled away. There's this little moment when that happens, when you have this competing and distracting event approach you. Uh, it could just be literally someone walking up to your desk and say, oh, hey, how are you doing? I have a question for you. Can you help me with this? And you're like, oh, my gosh, I'm so, I'm already doing a ton of stuff already, right? And then on top of that, someone's distracting you. And, and maybe, and furthermore, you you might actually want to procrastinate and enjoy, and it'd be easier just to talk to them, right? So there's a double resistance typically coming in here. One is there's a conflict in tension knowing you're really supposed to be focused on something else, your current climb or whatever. And then secondly, this competing tension that, that you maybe you don't really want to do something that could be high resistance, uh, but incredibly important. Uh, so that that has creates even more stress internally. So to, to literally just start letting go of that and go and just expecting it. I think that's how you surrender is letting go and knowing and expecting, resetting the expectation. Uh, Deep breath. Okay. It's, it's John or Susan or Bill, whoever this is, this person walking up and, um, or whatever that distraction is and, and know you're going to get knocked off course there. Okay. How to improve that response is that there's a tactical lesson within this. And, and my third tip is surrender is the word, the how to on a mental level from an emotional response and a stress response is meditation. Uh, for me, nothing else has come close of everything I've tried, every book. Uh, and you know, I wish I had an easier answer, just a silver bullet. This is a silver bullet. And 
I wish I had like a pill you could take because I've, many people say it's so frustrating. Now I've tried to meditate. Uh, I, I'm just telling you, it's absolutely worth pursuing. And I've mentioned that in other blogs as well. I'll put a link here as well to uh, another article on meditation, my meditation practice, and that pursuit of not having an empty mind, but just for a few minutes a day. Start with just five minutes. A few minutes a day when you sit and you notice when your mind is uh, racing off and thinking about whatever, it's been drugged down the stream of consciousness or onto this train of thought to literally just say, oh, yep, here it goes. I'm disconnecting. I'm refocused on right now. Or I'm refocused on this music I'm listening to. Or I'm refocusing on my breath. I'm refocused on this object or this word or whatever your object of meditation is. It's, it's really actually very simple. And uh, it's not nearly as crazy and complicated as, and as woo-woo as, as, as it's made out to be. Nothing has made a bigger difference. Surrender. Meditation will help you in that moment to surrender and disconnect in a good way emotionally so you're not intensifying the stress and pressure on yourself. Fourth, and this, this actually relates directly to the third item, the surrender and the meditation, to double down on all your efforts towards uh, anything that helps restore or replenish or re-energize you. So my meditation coach is, uh, it's a cool story in itself. My seventh grade teacher um, is, uh, we've reunited and he's my meditation coach. Uh, and I was going through a particular stressful time this September. I had a lot of speeches to deliver, lots of travel. And and I was completely exhausted physically. And uh, that of course creates a lot of emotional gravity. And for me at least, and mentally, everything's tougher as you probably experience as well. And he said, I want you to double down uh, on specifically on meditation in this case. It could be something else for you. If there's anything in your life that you used to do or you've, you've been doing, but maybe it's inconsistent that replenishes you, re-energizes you, refreshes you, restores you in some way, double down on that. So for me, I was doing about five to 10 minutes of meditation. And he said, I know you don't think you have 20 minutes, but I want you to just, boom, put the stake in the ground and say, I'm going to make this happen. And know that it seems like you just don't have enough time, but that 20 minutes will come back and, and tenfold in focus and and relaxation and you've been able to uh, you'll, you'll get the more of the time back I promise there's some magnitude of return on that time invested so trust me on this and try to double down uh, your frequency and or duration of whatever those activities might be for you so I hope this has been helpful so de declaration of momentum that's really what the current climbs about that one item that initiative Remember that when you're declaring your current climb and trying to stay on the mountain. Second key point here today, restart, master the art of the restart when you do get knocked off. Third, surrender. And to help you surrender mentally that process of the stimulus and the input hitting you and it not throwing you completely into a, even just a mild distraction or emotional response, that, but a deep breath and I'm getting pulled down the river of life. Uh, meditation has been the key to helping me surrender to the chaos of life in a sense. Uh, fourth item is to double down on any effort that for you restores, uh, replenishes, uh, helps you refocus and re-energize in some meaningful way. Whatever that might be. Hanging out with your cat, uh, going for a walk, meditating, exercise, playing an instrument, listening to music, uh, talking to a friend, reading a book. I don't know. Whatever it is, think about what that might be for you. And just, just double down, double your effort on that, double your energy, your time that you put into that. And I promise you it's going to help you with uh, facing your current client, building momentum, and hopefully getting ready to f wrap up a great year uh, or, or wherever, whatever you're here, whenever you're hearing this video, getting momentum in the middle of the year and, and rocking it. I hope this has been helpful for you. Please share this and please comment if anything's been helpful or any other tips you want to share. And uh, please share this with someone in your life if you think it would be meaningful or helpful. I'd be grateful uh, for you to pass it along. Thank you.